Hey there guys, James Smith, or better known as the Tattoo Butcher, and today we're getting creative with one of my favourite New Zealand pork cuts, which is the pork medallion. We're going to be tenderising it and making pork stencil with a parmesan and herb crumb. So, making pork schnitzels is actually a really cost effective midweek meal. All we're going to need today is two pork medallions, we've got some flour, we've got some egg, we've got some breadcrumb, we've got some parmesan, and we've also got some parsley and herb to add into that crumb. So, to get started we will add that parmesan and parsley flake and herb into our crumb. This is what's going to give that schnitzel all that good flavour. So once we've got all our crumb prepped, we can tenderise and flatten out our pork medallion. So this is key when making a schnitzel, we want it nice and flat, we're using that medallion so it's very tender already, but we want it nice and flat so it's going to cook fast. So my tip to tenderising your schnitzel and flattening it out is to use a ready ziplock bag and basically put the medallions one by one just on the inside and then using a tenderiser or if you don't have a tenderiser you can use a rolling pin and flatten them out okay so we want to make sure the surface is all even so making sure so making sure that we go all the way around and nice and flat so now that our pork medallions are tenderized and flattened they're ready to be crumbed so we're going to flour egg and crumb them and then they're ready to hit the fry pan So cook time for our schnitzels is four to five minutes per side and we're gonna be shallow frying them with olive oil today in our ironclad pan. Cool guys, so that is a wrap on our Parmesan and Herb Crumb Pork Stencil. If you guys are after quality New Zealand pork, head to your local butcher or your local supermarket. And if you're after more amazing recipes just like the one we did today, head over to the New Zealand Pork website. <laughs>